a surprise sight on the oceanfront in Virginia Beach this morning. A juvenile humpback whale washed up on the beach. On March 2nd, 2024, folks in Virginia Beach saw something scary. They found a big dead whale on the shore. It was a young humpback whale and it's not something people usually see there. Rescue workers from the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center had to use big machines to move the whale away from the water. Whales are giants of the ocean, with some of the biggest species weighing as much as 200 tons. That's like having more than 50 elephants packed into one huge body. When it comes to their jaws, they're no joke either. Picture this. A whale's mouth can be big enough to swallow a small car whole, and their teeth, if they have them, can be as long as your arm. But what's even scarier is their hunting skills. Some whales, like killer whales, have tactics that could send shivers down your spine. They work together in groups to take down prey much larger than themselves. It's like a coordinated attack from a team of underwater predators. Just imagine being in the water with these colossal creatures lurking beneath the surface. It's enough to give anyone goosebumps. But how did this huge creature end up on the beach? Let's figure out why. Virginia Beach Incident On a serene Sunday morning at Virginia Beach's oceanfront, the tranquil scene was shattered by a distressing discovery. A humpback whale stranded on the shore. The news quickly spread, drawing a crowd of around 200 concerned onlookers gathered at 25th Street, witnessing a somber scene unfold. The Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center's stranding response program sprang into action, their team laboring tirelessly to ensure the whale's recovery. With an area spanning two blocks cordoned off, the operation commenced, utilizing heavy machinery, including forklifts and tractors. Ropes were delicately affixed to the whale, each tug a testament to the collective effort to safeguard the majestic creature. This wasn't the first time such an incident had occurred along the Virginia coastline. In fact, it marked the 27th reported instance since 2016. Just a week prior, another beach had borne witness to a similar tragedy with a North Atlantic right whale, meeting a similar fate near Iris on the Bay Park. Concerns deepened as experts highlighted a distressing trend. Whales, including humpbacks and right whales, have been experiencing significant die-offs along the East Coast since 2017. The reasons are manifold, with vessel strikes and entanglement in fishing gear being among the leading causes cited by experts. To unravel the mystery behind this latest casualty, the stranding response team will conduct a necropsy akin to an autopsy for animals on Monday. Through meticulous examination, samples will be taken and organs scrutinized to discern clues about the whale's life and ultimately its untimely demise. As the waves at Virginia Beach sparkle in the sunlight, we're reminded of the tough times these big whales go through. They face dangers from boats and other things people make makes us think about how we need to take care of our world and the creatures in it. This animal is about 32 feet in length, and the estimated weight is about 32,000 pounds, so about 16 tons, said Mark Swingle of the Virginia Aquarium and Science Center. That information was confirmed during the necropsy, which was completed by Monday evening. As the team finished up examining the first whale found at Virginia Beach Oceanfront, news came in of another whale washing up at False Cape Fear State Park, also in Virginia Beach. Biologists will check out this new whale too, but they didn't say what kind it is. Just last year around this time, Wavy reported on several whale deaths in Virginia Beach. One sad case was a 20-year-old North Atlantic right whale that washed ashore on February 12, 2023. A closer look revealed it had died from being hit hard, probably by a boat. And just a week earlier, the aquarium team had to help with another dead humpback whale found in Virginia Beach, close to First Landing State Park. The big question on everyone's mind is, why are these huge creatures ending up on the beach? It's a puzzling mystery. These giants of the sea aren't supposed to be washing up like this. Something must be going wrong, but figuring out exactly what's causing it is tricky. Commercial whaling. Marine scientists were very sad when they found 13 dead sperm whales washed up on a beach in Germany. What they found in the whales' stomachs was really upsetting. This shocking discovery worried scientists a lot, and it's part of a strange pattern of sperm whales ending up on beaches along the North Sea since the start of the year. 
Sperm whales, also known as cachalots, are big-toothed whales. They have the biggest brains of any animal on Earth and can dive really deep, sometimes going down as far as 3,280 feet. For a long time, people hunted sperm whales for a special wax in their heads called spermacidae. They used this wax to make things like oil for machines and candles. After commercial whaling ended, the number of sperm whales increased a lot, reaching hundreds of thousands. But there's still a substance found in their stomachs that's used in perfumes. Because of this, the species is considered at risk by the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources IUCN. Sperm whales usually move from warm areas to colder ones after mating. They go to places with more nutrients where they can find food. Interestingly, the waste from sperm whales helps tiny plants called phytoplankton grow. These little plants are super important for ocean life and even for making oxygen for us to breathe. The 13 dead whales found on the North Sea shore were all young males, between 10 and 15 years old. At first, scientists couldn't see anything wrong with them. But when they checked inside, they found something really disturbing. Before the examination, Professor Ursula Seibert and her team from the Institute for Terrestrial and Aquatic Wildlife Research at the University of Hanover looked at the whales. They were all young and healthy looking, weighing between 12 to 18 tons. Their hearing, which helps them find their way in the water, seemed fine too. And there weren't any unusual parasites in their organs. So why did these whales end up on the beach? It's a mystery that scientists are still trying to solve. The real problem Scientists think that really hot temperatures and strong storms caused by heat waves in the Northeast Atlantic might have pushed water from the Norwegian Sea down to the North Sea. This change could have made the North Sea a place where sperm whales could find more food. But sometimes whales can make mistakes. They might follow their food into new areas where they don't usually go. This doesn't happen a lot, but it's not unheard of. Animals sometimes explore new places and try to live there. For a long time, whales have been found dead on the North Sea coast, but this time, something was different. When experts checked inside the whales, they found something awful. Their stomachs and intestines were full of plastic waste. According to the Wadden Sea National Park in Schleswig-Holstein, over 30 sperm whales have been found dead along the shores of the UK, the Netherlands, France, Denmark, and Germany this year. But the 13 whales found in Germany had the most horrifying deaths. The full examination showed that their insides were filled with plastic. The Whale and Dolphin Conservation WDC organization, says that noise from ships and drilling, as well as changes in the Earth's magnetic field, could cause whales to lose their way. But they also believe that pollution in the ocean might be messing with the whales' brains, making them confused and leading to their deaths. The shocking discoveries included a fishing net measuring 43 feet long, 13 meters, plastic buckets, and incredibly, even an entire car engine along with other car parts. These findings paint a grim picture of our society's heavy reliance on plastic. Animals unintentionally ingest plastic and plastic waste, causing them immense suffering, and in the worst cases, leading to starvation with their stomachs full. Robert Habeck, the Environment Minister for the state of Schleswig-Holstein, emphasized the tragic consequences of our plastic-dependent culture. He noted that whales and dolphins can mistakenly consume garbage, either by accident or because they confuse it for food. This plastic waste can wreak havoc on their digestive systems, leading to malnutrition and reducing their ability to feed. Hal Whitehead, a whale researcher at Dalhousie University in Nova Scotia, Canada, condemned the presence of plastic debris in the whale's stomachs as a damning reflection of human actions. In the case of the 13 sperm whales, they were evidently starving before washing ashore. Despite their immense size, these whales needed a considerable amount of food to survive, around 900 pounds, 400 kilograms, each. However, scientists found no evidence that the stranded whales had consumed anything other than plastic debris in the days leading up to their deaths. Nicola Hodgkins of Whale and Dolphin Conservation emphasized that while large pieces of plastic can cause obvious blockages in the animal's guts, smaller bits pose a more chronic threat to all species of cetaceans, not just those who suction feed. 
According to the United Nations, humans produce over 220 million tons of plastic every year, much of which ends up in the oceans. It's estimated that every square mile of ocean contains an alarming 46,000 pieces of plastic debris. Tragically, hundreds of thousands of animals suffer the consequences, with more than 100,000 dying each year from ingesting plastic waste. Seabirds are also heavily affected, with a study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America revealing that 90% of seabirds have ingested plastic waste. The same study predicts that by 2050, all seabirds will be consuming plastic. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with others who may be interested. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.